guys, my name is Prissy and I have a blog called Rush Hour Fashion. I've been blogging for a little over a year now and I've gotten several requests to do a hair tutorial. So if you like this look and you like to know how I achieved this look and the products that I use, then stay tuned. Morning guys, so I just woke up and I'm getting ready to put a relaxer in my hair. Um, and what I'm going to do is just relax the sides and the back. But before I relax, I like to um, use my clippers. And this is just a cheap pair by um, Conair. I really do need to invest in a great pair, you know, of clippers. But, oh well, these, these have been working for a while. And I have a number one guard on here. So that I don't go too, too low um, when, I'm, when I'm shaving it down. So, but first, I'm going to, this week, I'm going to wear my hair, like, all pushed forward and add some curls um, to the top. And I don't like to part it because I don't like those harsh lines in it. So, I just, you know, do naturally naturally comb it forward yeah that's sticking up but oh well so see these these parts that are just kind of a bit longer than than what I like so I'm just gonna shave it down a little bit All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, get my relaxer, and I just use a cheap relaxer. Um, this one is by Smooth Touch. has the beautiful Latoya look on the front. Sometimes Keisha Cole is on the front. just depends. And as you can see, I use the super, because this hair is super thick, and I want it to lay down. Now, I do have... Um, a relaxer same kind that I, I I normally keep them in the refrigerator especially since um, if I'm only doing my sides and the back I never use a full container so um, this hair is getting to me um, I never use a full container so I just keep the rest in the refrigerator so I can use it I don't know if you're supposed to do that but I've done it for years so, I, I guess so I just So I'm back, freshly washed, um, and what I washed with is this, it's called 2-in-1 Smooth and Silky by Head and Shoulders. It's a dandruff shampoo and conditioner. So I have dandruff kind of bad, and um, what I did was I added some tea tree oil into the shampoo so that um, I'm getting a little... You know moisture on my scalp with the tea tree oil along with the um the dandruff you know it removing my dandruff and my dry scalp and after that what i don't like about the head and shoulders it works it works wonders on my dandruff but what i don't like about it is it leaves my hair um 
feeling crunchy and hard and I don't like that. So I use this by, I'm not sure if it's pronounced chi or chai. Um, I use that and it's called Deep Brilliance Balance Instant Neutralizing Shampoo. And I love this stuff. If I could just get away with just using this, this is all I would use. And for my conditioner, I use just a cheap VO5 um, extra body volumizing conditioner. What I am looking for is a great leave-in conditioner that um, will also help with my dry scalp and my dandruff. So if you guys can think of any or you know any good ones out there, um, just leave it down below for me and I will check it out and try it because that's what I need. At this point, I'm getting ready to um, wrap my hair, but if I needed a rinse, because I'm obsessed with straight black hair, I'm obsessed with it. At this point, I would have used a, a rinse, a semi-permanent rinse, and this one is by Adore and it's called Black Velvet. I don't have a brand that I prefer, um, I just use whatever, whatever will make my hair black, I use it. But since I don't think I need it this week, I'm not going to use that, so I'm just going to wrap it. And I use this by Nairobi, this foam wrap, I love it. My cousin recommended this to me about three years ago, and I have been hooked ever since. I keep a stash of it. I have three of these so that I never run out. Alright, now I'm headed to get on the dryer and it takes me about 30 minutes for my hair to dry. Even though it's thick, it dries so fast, I don't know why, but um, be back. Okay, so I'm done drying and I'm getting ready to take the uh, strips of my hair. The reason, the reason I'm cutting them is because I use my dryer time to polish my nails. And they're not wet, but you know. You don't want the indentions in your nails. And if you noticed earlier, I only shaved my hair down. So right now I'm going to edge it up around the back. I don't edge up my sides. If I do anything to them, because I'm trying to let my sideburns grow, if I do anything, it's just taking some scissors and kind of evening it up on the sides. But I'm going to edge up the back now. And I'm using these little, I guess they're called T-edgers. Yep, T-edgers by um, Andy's. And I'm just going to edge up the back. Again, using my mirror.
done edging it up. So now what I do is take some of this, um, like I said, I'm not sure if it's called chi or chai, silk reflection. And it's like um, some like the oil. And I just take a small amount in my palm, rub my hands together, and I just use this to add some shine to it because I don't use oil sheen and I don't uh, definitely, definitely don't use spritz. I don't like hard hair. I like nice, soft hair that you can run your fingers through. Okay. So I have my flat irons. This is a, um, I call these my baby flat irons. Um, the name of them, it just says black. Um, I don't remember. I got them from a beauty supply store, but I don't remember um, what the name of them actually is. And these, I think they're either one or one and a half inch barrel. And these are by Andy's, the same brand. That is um, that my tea edges are about. So all I'm gonna do is start from the back and just curl forward, or 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 not curl forward, but I'm gonna curl some of the back forward. But then when I get up to the front, I'm just gonna curl it in, curl it different types of ways. It doesn't matter because I like my curls to just do do their thing. And I may not have to use the small ones, but I plug them in just in case. And I just curl. Make a curl. Just like that. So I'm going to do that all over. 